we can now actually graph piecewise defined functions by just graphing the appropriate graph on the appropriate region. So g of x is defined to be one of three things depending upon which of the regions you're in. You're either, if x is going to be strictly less than negative 1, then we look like this, which is just a line. If you're between negative 1 and 2, including the endpoints, then we're part of this little parabola. And if we're uh, actually greater than 2, then we're part of this line. So if we graph these graphs just along the regions, for x strictly less than negative 1, so right in this region, we graph this line. That's a line that has slope 1 and y-intercept at 2. So we, have, we start at 2, but that's out of the region, and then my slope is 1. So I go uh, 1 over, 1 down, 1 over, 1 down. And so what I see here is... This slope 1 going all the way up to x equals negative 1, but then I have an open circle. Then what happens between negative 1 and 2? Well, between negative 1 and 2, I actually see I'm graphing x squared, which is a happy face parabola. So from negative 1, when I plug in negative 1 here into, into x squared, I see negative 1 squared, which is 1. So I actually now fill in that hole. I fill in the hole because of this piece, and I graph a little parabola that goes all the way to 2. And when x equals 2, we know that, that the value of the function is going to be 4, and I include that point. So I put in a little happy face parabola. So there's the happy face parabola. And then what happens when x is greater than 2? Then I'm actually going to be lying on the line uh, y equals x, which is the line that goes to the center and has slope 1. So I start an open circle right here and go straight out like that. So this is actually the graph. And you can see it's sort of really crazy. But on this piece right here, I just see the graph g of x equals x. On this piece right here, I see the graph of g of x equals x squared. And on this piece right here, I see the graph of g of x equals x plus 2. It's a piecewise defined function. When you put all the pieces together, you have this really interesting function that has some kinks in it and some little gaps. But it is the graph of the function.